Okay, this video is about once your router is in place and working properly, how to connect your home internet to your television. This particular TV is a Sharp uh, Aqueous television and it's very simple. All you do is pr press the menu button over here and it, the menu will pop up set up and you scroll down to internet setup press enter then it says network setup press enter again and it brings you up to this on your television now there's two different ways that you can connect your router to your television one of them has an auto setup like this that uses WPS which is Wi-Fi protected setup which is an automatic button on the newer routers that connects the television to your router by one button touch. Now the way that works is once the box is highlighted, you press enter again and it highlights the yes or no. And since we, we're going to go through this, I connect yes, I say yes, press enter. It asks you whether you have a wired or a wireless system. We have a wireless system. You press enter again. Then it says that the connection is a wireless, yes. And then it asks you to press the WPS button and hold it for five seconds while it connects. Now I'm not gonna do this, so I'm gonna cancel out. And uh, we wanna exit. And it brings us back to the auto setup. And then once that happens, it'll tell you if you are or you're not connected. A lot of times what happens is there's not sufficient strength from the router to generate three or more bars on your television and the, the connection will fail. But the secondary method you can try is the manual setup. And we scroll down to that using the arrows, press enter and it brings you up to this menu right here where it asks you whether you want to uh, set it up manually. Of course, we want to set it up manually because that's why we push the button. So you scroll over to yes, press enter again. Do you want to change the cur current setup? It's set up for wireless, so we don't want to change anything. So once the connection is set, we hit the arrow button to wireless setup over in the left hand corner and it shows you whether or not you have a strong enough signal right here and it tells you what your wireless network is and um, the connection type and everything. So once you see like at least three bars there you know you're pretty much good to go. Right now you can exit out of this and do you want to exit out is finish the setup no i don't want to finish the setup because it says it's in it's in good shape we just want to exit out so the next thing you want to do to make sure that you're connected is press on the on the remote it says smart central push that button and along the bottom of the television it brings up all the icons of all the different uh programs that you can access. So let's say we want to access uh, YouTube. We go over, press the arrow key to YouTube so it selects YouTube. Whoop. There, and press enter, and then it will bring up YouTube. If you see the YouTube, you pretty much know that you are connected. Now we can take this one step farther and show you how to move around. Now you can use the arrow buttons and you can sign in, you can search. So then if you press enter again, you can search for the particular video that you want to go look at. Or you can come down here to where it says sign in and settings and choose pair device. By pressing enter on this, it'll come up with a QR code and the QR code, what it will do is it will pair your mobile device to the television. 
So you have an app on your mobile device, quick scan QR code, and it, it brings up the QR reader. You go over and you scan it in, then you bring it back to this address. You say open. And then you enter the number that's on your television. So this number happens to be 1-888-692-279-304. And then it shows you if you want to add this, and you say yes, you want to add it. Okay, and then it connects your, your device, your cell phone, or your tablet to the television. Now, the way this works is then select YouTube. Up here, it will show an icon like a television with, uh, with waves going toward it. And you want to press on that. And once you press on that, it brings up another menu. It says, do you want to connect this device to your television? So I just say yes. And then on the television, it shows that it's connected. And then using your remote, you uh, back out of here. Then by using the mobile device, you choose a video that you would like to watch. And it'll ask you whether or not you want to play the video. And you just say yes. And then it will play the video on your television. So this is a, uh, a quick way that you can use your mobile device to watch videos on your TV. You can, once it's on here, this, your cell phone, or this is an iPod Touch, you can use this to control the video by uh, pausing it, and then once it turns around, you can take it and delete it, and then it brings you back to the home screen. Now, this icon up here is blue, showing that this device is connected to the television. So by pressing on that device again, it asks you whether you want to disconnect your device from the television. If you choose you disconnect, it'll go back to regular television. So that's pretty much everything there is about connecting your internet and mobile cell phone device to your TV. Thanks for watching.